Hey guys, um, good afternoon. And um, it's Thursday, and I wanted to make a little video, and I wanted to come out here because I'm more with one, with myself and with God, and it's my favorite place to meditate, to think, and to really um, dive into what I want in life and my journey. So I am kind of have to film this way. I know it's a little dark on my face, um, but I kind of wanted to do a background so you guys can watch the waves blast over the jetty. It's super rad. Um, I was going to sit down on the beach, but we don't have one right now, thanks to winter. And I'm okay with that. So I wanted to restate my why and why I'm on this journey and why I'm doing this. Um, it's been about nine years now, it's coming up on nine years, since I've had a hysterectomy. And um, I had a full hysterectomy because I had tumors and I had endometriosis going on in my body. So I went with the first recommendation, which was go ahead and take everything, avoid cancers. And so I did so, um, but I did leave the cervix because I didn't want anything falling down or out or whatever. And um, so it's been a challenge. It's been a roller coaster over the last nine years, trying to balance hormones, balance being a wife, balance being a mom, and balance work, balance life. Um, being a woman is not easy by any means. Um, I think it's because we ate that apple. I don't know. I'm just saying. Anyways. Um, about a year ago, a little bit over, I started a journey for myself. And why did I do this? Because I wanted to get better. I wanted to heal. I wanted to feel better about myself. And um, I tried specialists. I tried the patch. I tried progesterone pills. I've tried everything. Um, finally, I found my doctor's wife who uh, specializes in female hormones and I've been on the compound it's been a good journey with her um, still struggle at time to time and um, as, as much as struggling with hot flashes being an irritable bitch um, head spinning Linda Blair kind of thing weight gain libido is a big one um, and that sucks you kind of feel like less of a woman and even guys know how that is you know like if things aren't working well for them, they don't feel like a man. Well, the same goes for us. And while people think they know how to support us, it's not necessarily true. So my why was to dive deep and um, regain some health. And I definitely needed to regain fitness. My doctors kept telling me 30 minutes of cardio. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, everything will be perfect. My body will be perfect again and I kept blowing them off. Um, and then my friend, Ann, she asked me to join Pio, and I kind of wanted to do it, and I told her yes right away. Now, the problem came with, I was only working part-time, and we didn't have a lot of money, and I had to pretty much lay it out for my husband why I needed to do this, and um, please support me, and please, let me have some of the grocery money to start this challenge. And I really didn't know what Shakeology was about, um, but I was eager to learn. And so, um, there we went. I ordered it. He said yes. He was very supportive. My kids have been supportive. And I love them and I thank them for that. My family is my life. Like, um, every day that I wake up, I may not express it enough. I do to them. But I may not to you guys or to others how important my family is. Like, my husband is everything. My kids, I love them to the moon and back and then to the moon again and back again and keep going on and on and on. Um, they are everything that I think about from the time that I'm awake to the time that I go to sleep. And so I needed to fix myself so that I could be somewhat of my old self again. Um, so there we went. We started Pio, and I loved it so much that I wanted to start coaching. And um, I started coaching within the 30 days, and I was doing good, and then I would fall off track. 
and I would do good and fall off track, you know, fall seven times, get up eight, fall a hundred times, get up 101. Um, the end of this year, I was really looking at myself thinking, are you where you said you were going to be? Are you where you wanted to be? What have you done with your progress this year? And I needed to hone in on it. I needed to do some deep soul searching. I knew I didn't want to give up. And while I was still working out, it wasn't as consistent as I wanted it to be, but I was still working out. I wasn't doing all that I needed to be to be a badass coach and to help the people that I was helping. Um, I could do better. And in doing better, I have to be a better role model. So this year I began um, posting every shake, every day I will continue to do that. And it's not to bore you guys with my pictures. It's to be accountable that I'm drinking my shake every day. I'm posting my workout so that I'm accountable for posting. I'm accountable for doing my workout every day. Um, accountability is huge. And I need to make sure it's getting done. And if I'm not accountable, how can I ask you guys to be accountable? I can't. So um, I'm stepping up my game. Uh, we had to do a move in October. That was kind of stressful, but we did it. And that kind of got me off track. And so I'm refocusing my life. In the beginning of December, we did a shock T flow training class. And super excited about that. I love it. And I can't wait to do a few small videos and show you guys what it's all about. Um, it's exciting. And it's dance. It's yoga. It's fitness all into one. And while you think you're in shape, come and join one of our classes and you will be dying at the end of it. And um, my hair is still drenched and soaking wet from it. But so yeah, that's my why. And how can I ask my kids to be healthy and fit? and cook clean for their families and their children if I can't do it for them. So um, that is why I'm on this journey. That is why I'm encouraging everyone I can, everyone that I love, to step up and get themselves on a journey of health and fitness. It is the most amazing high that um, you can ever imagine. And this year is starting off powerful for me. And I'm going to keep plugging in. I'm going to keep being accountable with you guys. And um, I love you so much. I love all of you. And I hope that um, you feel encouraged to join in on the journey. And it's not trying to push a sale. I'm a free coach. Um, it's trying to pay forward what I'm doing with myself and what my coach is doing for me. And... It's just taking that one step. Try it out, see if you like it. I mean, what's the harm in it? You're doing yourself a whole lot of good. And uh, my Shakeology, okay, so like if I was going to work and I stopped along the way to get Starbucks tea, I drink iced tea or a smoothie, or if I stopped at Java Juice to get a smoothie, what's that gonna cost me every day? My Shakeology, I have it home directed and it cost me four dollars a day for the best meal that I have that day and it has changed my life I'm getting my libido back um, yeah throwing that one out there love it you know um, losing weight my skin looks better I feel better um, my body is regular which women that means like you know what it's like to struggle and not go to the bathroom every day guys no problem they can set their um, bathroom schedule by their clock or their watch. Us as women, especially as we get older, that doesn't happen. And um, yeah, so my cravings are gone if I stick to my shape. And um, it's rad. I mean, it's totally, totally changed my life. And it's on my front doorstep each month. It cost me a hundred and, I don't know, $107, something like that. And so I do the math divided by 30, that's nothing. And then cut my cravings in half, or they eliminate my cravings. Um, so it's been a win-win. And um, I'm happy with my life. It's simple. It's, it's just filled with love. And while I'm still getting better, 
I love waking up each morning and feeling better. And being a part of my community um, is super important. Like, I couldn't do this alone. I could never do this alone. Um, going to a gym, that's still for me doing it alone. And I couldn't do it. With my fit family, with the girls here in Morro Bay, I have support. I have others to work out with. And it doesn't make it so painful. It doesn't make it such a struggle. And um, I never thought that I would be in this moment in life. And um, I never thought that I would be so excited about um, a yoga class. But this is more my style of a yoga class, but I'm still learning the other yoga classes because balance and core strength is important. And some of those classes, even though it's just holding poses and meditation, learning about your breathing, learning about your chakras, um, it's totally intense. Like, I am full on sweating by the time we're done. So, um, it's not for the week, you know? But anyways, I wanted to restate my why. It's been a while. And let you, know, let you guys know where I'm at in life with myself. And um, I'm so looking forward to helping so many more people. And um, yeah, I would love for you guys to be one of them. Anyways, um, I know my eyes are squinting. I've got green eyes and they're very sensitive to the light, but I didn't want to wear sunglasses and uh, block my connection with you guys. So anyways, I'm going to let you go. It's been a long video here and um, I didn't mean to drag on, but I just really wanted to share this with you all. So have an excellent day. Um, make it happen. Make something fun happen. Make a positive vibe happen and spread it. And uh, check it out. Peace out. Love you guys.